So welcome to another episode of our tutorial series. Open up terminal and write npx. So npx is a great utility from npm. You don't have to install any of the dependencies globally. You can just write npx and the name of the library and start using the library without even installing it. So we'll write npx create react app. Then the name of the app, what do you want to name it? You can name it anything. I have named it SaaS Startup. Then I wrote the template flag and I mentioned it. I want it to be a TypeScript project. So TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript and it adds type safety to the JavaScript projects. We'll discuss what it is in detail in the later videos, but for now, uh, just keep a note that we are using TypeScript. Now we'll open the generated code for the app in Visual Studio Code. So this is the folder structure of a typical React project. The tool which we have used is known as Create React App. So on the right hand side, we can see there is a first folder uh, which is named as node modules. That folder contains all the dependencies which our React project needs. The second folder which we have is known as public folder. We'll discuss about this in the upcoming videos when we'll be changing the HTML code. The third folder you can see is known as SRC. So SRC means source code. The all the code which we write for our JavaScript or our TypeScript app will be stored in the SRC folder. It makes it easy to distinguish what the code is and what other layers of the program are. Now coming to the files, we can see there is a file known as .gitignore. It's a file used by GitHub or by Git to ignore the files which we don't want to push. Secondly, we have a package.json. It's a basic identifier file which contains all the properties related to our project. Then we have a readme file which contains all the project related documentation or anything which we want to show on our git or github repository. Then we have tsconfig.json. Uh, it contains all the properties related to our TypeScript and TypeScript's compiler's file which we have is yarn.log file. It's an auto-generated file generated by yarn package manager. If you are using npm, then you'll get package-log.json file. Now we have a bunch of files which are auto-generated by our React boilerplate, boilerplate project. So this is the index.tsx file. So basically our code starts from this file and this is the entry code or entry level file which starts our React app. This is the first component which is auto created by create React app. This is known as app.tsx. This file contains some imports which are logo and the styling sheet app.css so basically the html looking like structure or the code which you can see is known as jsx we can write html along with that the script in line in jsx code so we'll remove all the auto-generated code and we'll write our first hello world here. So let's write hello world inside an h1 tag. We will clean up this app.css file because we'll be using our own styles here.
we'll remove report web vitals also because we are not monitoring performance right now it's a advanced topic and we'll be using later on in the same series So we'll create a folder name as component and we'll keep all the components inside the, inside this folder. We'll create a navbar first. We'll go from a top to down approach. So navbar is the first thing on any website or an app. Let's import our navbar and try whether it's working or not. To start the project, we just have to write yarn start on the terminal or if you are using npm, you can write npm start. As we can see, our navbar is working. Now we'll install our first third party dependency which is known as Chakra UI. It's a component library for React. We'll follow the documentation and install it on a project uh, the way they have told us to set up. As you can see, they have a good documentation and you can use it in any type of React project. Now let's create our first container. So container is a component which contains our components. So I'm naming it as navbar container. Usually the convention which we'll use will be the component name and then container so we'll get to know that what container this is about so we are using our first component which is created by chakra ui this component is known as flex it's a flex box container as you can see in the documentation it shows it's a react component used to create flexbox layouts. So you can follow the styling which I am using or you can use your own creativity.
So it's a good practice to store all the strings or all the constants in a single file so that later on it's easier to change or maintain those changes. You can name the app whatever you want. Here I am naming it as SaaS Startup. 